Let's game. So we're here at a new swamp meet. It's dark, it's different, it's cold, it's like drizzling. Something about the universe knows we're not supposed to be at a different swamp meet than we normally go to. So let's see if we find good stuff. I'm a little nervous. Let's see, Ricky, what is it? It's like the regular switch. What is it, Ricky? The switch wireless controller. I don't know if there's a Bluetooth thing that's supposed to go with this, but it's pretty cool. What up, man? Dude, but let's see, let's see. Let's see. How's he look? How'd it look? Like a girl. <laughs> Tekken. Three Zelda controllers. Actually, a great looking controller right here. I actually really like all the Power A and PDP stuff, so. Pretty cool. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. And then Ricky found a Gamer Paper Mario magazine. And then a Bart, but Bart is like an alien seen, chest burster. He's seen better days, dude. Yeah, it, dude, that's, that's a good call. And the bomb dropped now. Okay, so looking. PS3 games. Some decent ones, actually. But you know what, this is the first game when I convinced my mom to buy a PS3 back in the days. This was the first game that she bought for some reason. I was, I, I have been piqued my interest a little bit by Hulk lately because he was on the Joe Rogan show. Uh, the Minecraft games are good. I was gonna grab this too, but ready? <sighs> Classic. So, I'm just gonna grab a couple PS3 games. I will be grabbing these point 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 all right so we pull up to this booth dude i got way too excited i ran literally ran when i saw these two dreamcast joysticks i uh i got a little too excited ran grabbed them both i asked how much 60 bucks i'm like sweet i'll take each one and then uh the guy says he has more stuff he has a dreamcast i didn't pick it up 100 bucks was too much but i did pick up a gamecube he had for he said 60 but after i bundled it all up it was 140. Ricky, let's see what he got. What he got? We got two Dreamcast joy joysticks. Talk about the whisper. Oh, he knows what they are. <laughs> <laughs> two Dreamcast joysticks. Been looking for some of these. How much you asking on these, bro? Sixty a piece. How much? Sixty. Sixty a piece. Sixty a piece. Sixty a piece. Oh. All right. So I can't believe this. I came here like six months ago. Passed on the Omnis twice. Super weird. Super interesting consoles. I almost couldn't tell you a thing about them the Omni Entertainment System. I think it's time to actually finally show you guys these. Check these out, Curtis. Right here, oh, we're going yeah, over here. I remember here. those. I think they're finally, he said 60 for both of them, which is actually very cheap. Look at this. Super interesting, super weird, oddball, funky console entertainment system. Look at, with carts? What? But they look like eight tracks? It looks like Simon Says? I'm going for it, why not? No risk? No reward. Why am I buying it? Oh, this one I'm asking 100. It's uh, got two controls. Two controls. And what about the GameCube? This one's 60 bucks. 60 bucks? If you want to put some stuff together, we'll do a bundle. Huh? Cool. Put some stuff together for a bundle, Ricky. Let's Ricky, do it. Ricky, bundle mania. Bundle mania. Go. Give him a body slam. Go. Body slam Eddie. Kill him. Finish him. Rock bottom. I can't do anything right now. <laughs> All right, so I'm at the same booth as Ricky after I get shoved out of the way for some Dreamcast stuff, by the way, and I see some X-Men stuff. And normally I have no desire to pick up any toys, anything like that, but something about seeing like the whole line of the X-Men characters, the uncanny X-Men, X-Force, all that stuff, some of the popular characters and also some of the less popular characters, I get a little excited. So I'm like, I'm thinking about it, I'm diving into the, the, daily, the deal of doing the deal, and he says five bucks each. When he says five bucks each, that's when you go, Stupid if you don't. Five bucks each, of course, pick them up. That's the same price I paid for Curtis's mom. All right, the unexpected of unexpected. I'm sitting here looking at these and I'm like, I don't really do toys that often, but I'm like, come on, it's hard to pass up an uncanny, a Wolverine. Ricky, Berserker Barrage, some may say. You know what that's from? Leave it in the comments if you know. But I asked for how much for these and I was like, man, these are pretty cool. Like, you got Cannonball, you got Kane. I mean, they're just really cool figures. What about me and Ricky's favorite video games on the NES right here? And he's like, you know, maybe 10, 15 each. And he's just looking at this and he's like, take them all five bucks each. And I was like, in the words of the almighty original days of the Game Chasers, all right. Ooh, look at these out of nowhere. Oh, yo, I have to get these, 100%. You see these? Look at this. Oh, that's oh, sick. Pagalitos, baby. I'll take those. <laughs> Due to the rainy, wet weather, look what Ricky did. I had to. Look at our stuff. I know. Ricky, what a clutch move right there, man. I appreciate that right there. <laughs> I think he's trying to hook us up, too. Oh, dude, you're the man. We'll try to uh, 
Double, double bundle. Double bundle. There we go. Thank you. I knew I would find this booth again. Every once in a while when we come to this swap meet, which is like once every six months, I find my lady. I find this girl, she hooks me up every time with these t-shirts, they're not vintage, but they're all like the cool graphics. They're the ones that you would pay at Target like $24.99 for. They're, the price is like that range, but when I go there and I buy a bunch of them, she's always like, hey, if you buy a bunch, you get them for five bucks each. So I grab a poop ton of them, a whole bunch of them. I buy them out and the great news is there's like probably 10, no, I'd say five in there that I wanna keep, and the rest, I spend $100, the rest of them, I get a flip. So there's cool designs, cool stuff. I think one of my favorite ones is uh, the Jaws one. Ricky found me a couple Jaws ones. Actually, Curtis found, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm rambling and I bought ones that I couldn't even tell you what I bought. I just would see a cool design, throw it on my arm. Cool, arm, cool, arm, cool. <laughs> search, 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 searching for shirts. Look at this. Just buying shirts, 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 shirts. What do you think the fourth shirt's gonna be, Curtis? Just guess, one, two, three. What's it gonna be? Your mom. Okay. Oh, shocking. It was Ooh. your mom. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Curtis' mom, if you watch, we love you. I've never talked to you in my life, but I guarantee you, you must be cooler than Curtis. <laughs> tell you that much is true. <laughs> Check it out, audience, super cool one. Pac-Man, size medium. I load up at these places because I can keep a whole bunch and sell a whole bunch. You can be buying big, massive bundles like this, they're willing to hook you up more. So, you know, gotta take a little risk to make something brisk. That's the old saying, as my dad said, Unicorn holy! <laughs> Ricky, look. <laughs> Just bought a hundred dollars worth of shirts. There's like Animal Crossing, Mario stuff, nerdy stuff, movie stuff. I buy in bulk from her. She said I made her day already. Day just starting, giving her some money, and uh, I got stuff to wear and stuff to sell. What are you talking about over here, bro? I said I like my vinyls cheap. You like what? My vinyls cheap. So you, you know. buy crappy vinyls is what you're saying? No, I just mean it. I don't want to over... Why are you zooming into me? Hello, bro? Why are you wearing a bootleg shirt, dog? I just bought real shirts. <laughs> hey, this is a good bootleg. Hey, that's a great bootleg, actually. 100 bucks off the back? I can't, that's what I paid for it, off Chris. So you're saying you wouldn't hook me up at the same price? I see how it looks. Okay, you got it. Yeah. Dude, this is, if Caleb ever needed a gift, this is it. Look at that. It's like, a, this is beautiful actually. Scrooge McDuck's just taking the dive of all dives. If this wasn't so big, I would ship it to Caleb. But he's he's almost cool enough for me to ship him that, but it's a little too big. Some great VHS, VHS over here. Magic Johnson, always Showtime. I like the snap, the movie. I love watching like big wave surf stuff. Oh, this is actually sealed. And then Star Trek, tomorrow is yesterday. Sealed, and then a picture of Curtis and his youth. <laughs> Looking great, dude. We're all here <laughs> buying AirPods. Yes, we have verified that they are legit, but it's funny, my my recent AirPod, uh, the right one stopped working and I need it, even though I did get some awesome new AirPods, which is actually a sponsor. Well, not AirPods, by a different brand. They were awesome. But my kids always come and steal mine, so I had to replace it. It's still sealed, and it is official, so we all picked them up. 30 bucks each, not bad. What I mean when I see, what I see, what I feel, when I dream, when I be, I'm a What's that, remind, what's that remind me of? What movie is that from? I don't know. All I can think of is Vertical Limit, though, where he's like, oh. I think that's what it reminds me of. Oh, really? Yeah. I was going to say Mortal Kombat. Oh, that's right. The one character. Curtis knows who it is. <laughs> no. Who is it? Baraka. Baraka. <laughs> Watch out behind you, Curtis. Oh, God. What the? <laughs> How, who, who's cool? What does this remind you of? Barbershop. Anybody? What does this remind you of? Oh, I know. I know. What? Jurassic Park. Let's go. Yeah. Put in the scene, Jared. The bottom screws open. <laughs> so this isn't vintage, but my goodness, what a good laser freaking disc. jacket. What? Laser oh, laser disc. There we go. These are sick. There we go, Curdy. I know. Dance for me, Curtis. He's a dancing man. He's a dancing man. Oh, oh. <laughs> So the Commodore 64, I come to this booth and I see one at the edge of the table and I and it's been a while since I've seen one. I've seen like parts and accessories for it, but I never really see the actual console itself. And I'm starting to think about some of the history about it, some of the nostalgia. I did know there was a period of time too when it was outselling things like IBM computers and Apple computers. So this thing held its own in the early 80s for a long time. People loved this thing, but I have not held it in my hands in a long time. So I decide, Today is the day. This is the day I'm gonna do it. And I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking like, okay, I'd pay like up to 60 bucks for it or so. 
Asked the guy how much, he says 30 bucks. No questions asked, not even trying to talk him down. The only person I had to worry about was Curtis trying to steal it from under my hands. Liar! Well, 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 what do we have here? Commodore 64s. No cords, no cables. Clicky feels good, and look it, we even got the disk drives. Oh yeah, look, there's a logo right there for these. Curious what he wants on these. I'm, I'm not the best educated with these, but maybe, maybe we'll do it. So let's inspect this together. Let's inspect this together. The ship lock, okay, the ship lock is in place, stays in, pops out. Let's, uh, let's type in R Ricky. Ricky is a cool guy with lots of Mexican money. I think I'm gonna buy this for 30 bucks. I, I never pick up Commodores themselves. I always pick up like accessories, like the, the, the random hard drives, the random printers, or but I rarely pick up the actual console. And it looks pretty nice. You know, it's funny, one of the very first times we were hunting back in the day, we found a Commodore 64 in the box here, passed it up. So this is the redemption song of all that time, coming full circle. And now, it makes me want to jam though on it. Jared, uh, putting a really cool beat. Also, Curtis legit tried to snake me on this. My merchandise? Yes, sir. Lots. Millions. No, 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 no. At least you have to pay and All right, bye bye. All right, bro, I got you. Oh, there we go. Ready? In 1982, we got. The Commodore 64. The Commodore 64 has more built-in memory than the others, and it's under $600. So, while everyone else talks about the revolution that's coming, you can experience the revolution that's here. So we're at that booth digging, all of us were kind of digging over the same thing, and I, I feel like you guys, did you see the VHS tapes that I picked up? I, once you picked them up, I was kind of, I was a little jealous. I was like, oh, dang, those are pretty cool. Halloween 1, Halloween 2. Desperately was looking for Halloween 3. That, that one's worth a lot of money and also a very good cover art. But then I found Prom Night 2, which is called Holo, Mary Sue, Mary Lou, whatever it is. Yeah. It's not one you see very often. The Prom Night movies are awesome. They're some of my favorite movies. So much, so much defining, I'll say, of that like 80s type gore, 90s type gore. But also, if you don't know, but you ever see horror VHS stuff that's not as popular, that's the better stuff you want to pick up. I know every, the stuff. Halloween stuff's good, the stuff everybody sees, it, all that jazz, but if you're looking for that sweet dollar, you got to go with that stuff. Look at this, bro. My, my horror tattoo right here, bro. Oh, oh, can I stand still? There, I got it, I got it. Guess what movie I got that for in the comments below. Look at this. Some great VHS here. Prom Night 2. Carpenter, Halloween, what else we got? Halloween 2, one of my favorite covers right there, by the way, too. It's beautiful, and I've never seen this one either. I've never seen this. Yes, there's two of those right there, Curry. Hmm. So at the booth, I've been looking at, I found three V, I was hoping to find Halloween 3 as well. I got Halloween 1, Halloween 2, by the way, I've said, such a good cover art. But then also, Hello, Mary Lou, Prom Night 2. Super cool VHS, one of my favorite VHSs. Check out the back art. This always back artwork kind of reminds me of Carrie as well. Kind of like that, obviously, prom night look, things go wrong, blood everywhere kind of vibe. So, and this season is upon us. We're, we're in September now. Well, by the time you see it, maybe the same, I don't know. Dude, I heard there's a game booth over here. Did someone say games? Uh, never mind. Game, no, no, no. Put game, it right here. game, game, game. Five, five dollar section right here. Five dollar section? Or five for twenty. <laughs> From here, it's all the way over there. All these? All the way to the Nintendo. Oh, Thanks, oh, man. All right. Oh, five yeah, five dollars. Yeah, five bucks. <laughs> How much you got in the Dreamcast controller? What about, what about Dreamcast controller? I'll give it to you for uh, ten bucks. Okay. Why not? Just a, just a little cleanup. But it works yeah, a little cleanup. Yep. I got you. I got you. All right, we're looking at our homies booth. Lots of stuff here. Come look down here. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Yeah. Castlevania, Scarface, Manhunt, Evil Dead, Zelda. So when you just got? Yeah, got All right, I'm desperately looking for elevator action on Game Boy. I just got it. Mint condition, box, manual, inserts. But I'm looking through the games to find it. We got to find it. Ooh, how much is Mega Man? Uh, twenty. Twenty on Mega Man. I like it. I like it. What else do I need? Come on, elevator action, right here. Nope, that's not it. It's gonna be right here. 
It's a lot of Pokemon. Pokemon yep. Oh, Barry oh. changed. There you go, Ricky. I know yeah, Ricky's the Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. I'll find it. I'll find it eventually. I promise. Like, then we'll come back. These are sick. The Street Fighter action figures. You got the Vega. You got the Ken, and you got the Ryu. Man, I mean, maybe if you would do a deal for all of them. Yeah? Are you a Ryu or Ken guy? Ryu. Oh, I'm definitely. A... You're Ken, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, come on, dog. That's what I mean. It's always. The I love the... the. Yeah, but I like the orange that orange jumpsuit used to have. Sick. You can change the colors, dude. For this. No, you can't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. So I bought Mischief Makers. Great, great game if you haven't tried it. And the N64 VHS. You know the little demo things. Awesome for five bucks each. Well, except for this, this is I paid out for that. So Ricky buys Mischief Makers. Now everybody, it was a hidden gem back in the day, but everybody's talked to it up a storm at this point. But what I want to point out is the cutscenes, the intro cutscenes. I love them. Jared will play it for you guys. They're beautiful. They're awesome. They're just such a cool, fun, almost like an intro to anime style thing. Because I wasn't into anime, but it felt kind of anime. But maybe it's not really anime, but it felt anime to me, and I like it. <gasps> Mischief Makers, you haven't played it, it's definitely a game worth picking up. And for the price point too, it's a perfect price to pick up a game and play with your purple. All right, we're gonna do a bet right now. We gotta buy the weirdest thing before Ricky gets back with his barbecue. The weirdest right. item, the yep. weirdest item. And it wins, and we'll have the boys pick which one's the weirdest. Me and you have to both buy the weirdest item. Yeah, yeah, okay, literally we have back. this free range. Ricky just left. Yeah, yeah. He walked away to go pick up a barbecue he bought earlier. Yeah, so we got, we got a couple minutes to spare. Must find something weird. Yep. <laughs> gotta find something weird. Weird, 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 weird. Must find item, must find item. Where are we gonna find it? All right, Curtis, Curtis and I each bought something really cool. I'm talking like next level cool. You have to tell us who got the better item. First item, let's do Curtis's first. No, let's do mine first. Okay. Let's do mine first. Big item, big win, big win. Ready? The handoff, the handoff. Really cool though. Thigh roll, please. I'm warning you. Ricky, this. Woo! Okay, I want you to examine it. Yeah. What do you think? Jack Skellington, when he was alive, that's amazing. Okay, what's your what's your rating? I mean, this out is of a ten. Solid seven right here. Okay, solid seven. Pretty. You good. know what you could put in this thing right here, Ricky? What? Use your imagination, like a like a Coke bottle. Oh. And then Curtis's item up oh, next. How big is this item, Curtis? You know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're doing like the same hand motion. <laughs> what the heck? Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Who wins, think? Ricky? Who wins? wins? Who wins, dog? That's a big wiener. <laughs> oh, hey. hey, hey, whoa. Who wins, Ricky? Come on, give the verdict. Oh, the verdict dang. is? Um, Curtis or Rip, just say it, bro. Say it. Viral, please, say again. It. Viral. Oh, really terrible, I'm not going to lie. Which one? Come on, Ricky. Give it a. All right, all, right, all, right. all right, Ricky, we're losing the momentum. All right, all right. All right. I'm going to go with the. This guy, Jack oh, oh no! Let's go! I myself have probably gotten more gaming chairs that I can tell you. And the more I think about it, me getting gaming chairs is great because I'm a gamer, but I'm an editor. I need a chair that's made for me to sit in and be ergo friendly and make sense for my body. Flexi Spot has sent me Another chair. I've worked with FlexiSpot before and obviously liked them enough to want to continue to work with them. Let's check out what this puppy has to offer. I can tell you, that was close. I can tell you right away, I'm not used to having any support right here within my gaming chairs. Normally, I'll be honest, they come with like little cushion chairs normally. They'll give you like a little thing you strap to the back, which does its purpose. But this being built in, I, I screwed this in myself. By the way, the whole process took me like maybe 10, 15 minutes. Just sits right there, nice and easy, beautiful. Also, everything fully adjusts in here. Check this out, look. As you would expect, you pull the little levers right here underneath, they go up and down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There's adjustables on the back, adjustables on the side. And aside from it being fully customizable and adjustable the way you wanna set it up, it looks pretty. For someone like me who happens to do a full-time editing career out of my bedroom where my wife and I sleep, we need something that looks good in the room. Speaking of, to the room! Hi dog! Hi dog! Can I make it through? Oh, I'm doing it. You gotta get yourself a good proper chair. Again, I know we're like in the gaming scene and a lot of people want to have, you know, gaming chairs because we're in the gaming scene. It feels good. It's like, yeah, I got my gaming chair. As much as that could be cool, you want to be doing this properly. If you're doing extended hours, for sure, definitely. Like me, who's always doing this. 
absolutely editing probably seven, eight hours a day, probably a little too much, but it's part of my life at this point. And just so you know, their Black Friday sale is like right around the corner. Yes, the FlexiSpot Black Friday sale is beginning. Use my code FlexiSpot30 to get an extra $30 off their E7, E7 Pro standing desk, and C7 ergonomic chair. Don't miss the chance. Thank you so much to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. And honestly, it sound might sound silly to some of you guys, but for having things that are this important and crucial to the show, yes, this is my FlexiSpot desk that I've been using now for well over a year. Don't use anything else, won't use anything else. And now with this chair, it's a huge help for the show, a huge part of the show. So thank you guys so much for, for being part of this. Reggae, reggae, reggae. For my son.